Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial today which I'm going to be showing you uh, how to track a thank you page in Google Analytics 4 or GA4. Um, now we're just going to be using your website um, and our website in the example and GA4. We're not going to be messing around with Google Tag Manager. Um, we're only going to be looking at how to track with GA4 and in this case how to track a thank you page and we're going to be setting up some custom events so I'm just going to don't jump straight in here um, I'm going to share my uh, screen very quickly and pick the correct window to show you so here you'll see we've got uh, my fake shop um, which is a fake shop and uh, it's an e-commerce store in this example but in this case, we're going to pretend that it's, you know, any type of website. It could be, yeah, an e-commerce store with a with a contact form or it could be, a you know, a service based business lead generation. It could be anything, right? You have a contact form. So we'll just go over to the contact page here. And what we're going to try and, and track is the thank you page that happens after this contact form is submitted. Now, Having a thank you page is probably one of the easiest ways to set up event tracking and conversion tracking and any measurement uh, when we're looking at, you know, uh, measurement for marketing campaigns, right? So whether it be Google Analytics or Google Ads, um, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, you know, having a thank you page is, is a really good way to kind of make sure that you've got something which is, you know, a reliable and, and, and measurable, uh, you know, tracking basically in place. So you can, you know, understand the value that your marketing campaigns are bringing, how you measure them. Um, just to give you a example um, of why using a thank you page is actually, you know, a really good way um, is because if we look at this uh, little diagram here, just to give you a visualization of that, is that a thank you page, as long as it's a, it can be a unique thank you page, right? So what happens is, is, let's say the traffic comes into your website and it heads to the landing page. Let's say that they then go on to a different page on your site and eventually end up at the contact form or your free demo form or whatever the form may be on your site. Once submitted, if that form redirects to a unique thank you page, then you know that only visitors who have completed that action on your website have ended up on that page, right? So they haven't got there from Google, they haven't got there from any other place other than filling in your contact form. So, you know, you, could, you might have um, very specific contact forms on your site as well. So you might have a, contact, uh, a thank you page for different contact forms. You could do that, right? So you could know that these are, are unique happenings or sometimes people just have one thank you page on their site that attack, you know, that is the redirect for, from, from many forms. So either way, a thank you, having a thank you page and having something, you know, having a thank you page there is a, is a really kind of, it's still today is like a, is a great foolproof way for, for setting up some really simple and really easy tracking. So um, today that's what we're gonna do with Google Analytics 4 is set up simple thank you page tracking. And I'm gonna be doing that with custom events. So if we just go over to our thank you page, this could be any bog standard form, right? We just do a quick uh, test inquiry. So what happens is, they fill in the form, they want a free demo or that it's a lead, you know, it's an inquiry coming in and they submit it. And then our website directs us to this thank you page after the completed submission. So if we go back to the diagram here, we're by directed to this unique thank you page that only we who've completed that particular action are going to land on. So we're going to take a note of this URL here, but we're going to go come over to Google Analytics. Now, this is taking into it, but basically um, we're taking into account, we're, we're start at a starting point that you've already um, set up GA4. You've already got GA4 set up on your site. If you haven't got GA4 set up on your site yet, we do have some other videos um, which will help you to you know, get that set up on your site and how to implement that. 
But anyway, this is uh, assuming that you have the starting point that you've already got GA4 on your site. Now, you'll probably land on the on the homepage. Um, I've just started a new uh, GA4 uh, property actually for this uh, demo account. So there's not much data in here yet. But first of all, we're gonna do is go to the admin panel on the left hand side. And then we're also, we're gonna go down to events. Okay, so this that's on the, um, on the new admin panel, right? So uh, we go to navigate our way to events. Now, for events, this is where we're going to be setting up our, our creating our, our event, right? But first of all, we're going to go to debug view, okay? So we can we can do that on the main admin panel um, down here, or you, we have the side panel as well where we can find the debug view. Now on the debug view, we haven't got anything yet because we, ha we have to open our web page in the new Google Tag Assistant, okay? And that web page, um, well, go to the Google Tag Assistant, is tagassistant.google.com. Um, if you type that into Google or you can bookmark it or just go to the URL directly, and then you basically have to type in your domain, right? So I've already done this, so I've got, um, so if I was typing it in, I'd be typing in my fake shot, right, and connecting, okay? I connect that domain and then I'm in the debug view of that domain. So you can see that the tag assistant is connected. Right, so now that that's connected, what I'm gonna do is complete the same operation again, right? So I'm just gonna make sure my, yep, yeah, it's connected. I'm gonna do the same test again. I'm gonna submit that. So now what this is doing on the tag assistant tab, if we just switch over, <clears throat> There we go. Right, so let's just have a quick look. Okay, I think it missed some of my journey, but nonetheless, we can um, just come back here. Let's just uh, operate that again. So just go to contact form. Let's just do that quickly again, just so you can see. Submit. Okay, so now you'll, you'll see that this is tracking our journey, right? So we've got the, the um, uh, container and windows loaded and we can see that journey so we've got the first home page we came to then we've got the contact form that we uh, the contact page that we came to and then we've got the thank you page so if we head over to the thank you page and just have a look here we go container loaded um, what we can see uh, in the in the uh, variables is a list of um, yeah variable values right so in here, we can see that, you know, it, it's it's seeing the correct information as we would expect, like the page URL, right? So this is the something that we're gonna be using is the page URL, right? So we can see that the debug mode is picking this up. Now, on Google Analytics, what we should start to see in this debug view, so back over to the admin panel, from Tag Assistant, when you've got the debug window open, this should now, you should be able to start to see this in Google Analytics 4 as well. So that's in the admin panel and debug view. Now, sometimes it takes a while for these events to come through. So just be patient. But once they start coming through, you will see that you'll have um, some events, right? So the most recent one is this page view here. Now, the most recent one, our last page view that we that we landed, the last page we landed on was the thank you page. So this should be the event names page view, but the page location should be thank you page, right? So page location forward slash thank you, that's correct. So what I like to do now when I'm setting up events is actually open this, um, open events in a, in, in basically have a, have a, have a new window, right? So um, I'm going to make a new duplicate of this tab and I'm gonna to go to events because then I've got, I've just got an easy way then to switch between these two tabs, right? So it's just a little bit easier sometimes. Um, right, so once we've got that, we can see, okay, that this is seeing the you know, exact same information. We, we've got this now, so we can, we can start to make, move forward with it. But we have the thank you page and we know that the the event name, this is the event name, the page view, okay? And then we know that the page location is the thank you, right? So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna to go to events, create new event. 
create. Okay, event name. I'm going to call it thank you page view. Okay, now one of the important things here to remember is that to use lowercase lettering and to, to use the same uh, naming conventions as, as, Google, as GA4 uses, right? So just name everything with, use lowercase and use underscores to, to name your events. Um, the event name was equal to page view, right? So we know that. And then the next thing that we saw was that the, uh, so that was the, the page view, but the next thing we, we looked at was that one of the parameters was the page location. So the page location was, well, the page the page view that we're trying to you know filter out is the thank you page so it's this here so if the uh type in page and you'll come up with page location and we can say equals or contains i'm going to go for contains and i'm going to go for uh this but you could also you know you could have starts with so for example if you you know I guess you could take out the, the, the slash there. So in case you've got any um, UTMs or any additional things or query strings or anything that gets put onto your um, uh, U, uh, URL uh, at the end with, without you knowing. So page location starts with could be, but you can also do contains or is, is you know, equals is a good one as well. So whatever is, is good for you. Um, in this case, I'm going to go for starts with. I'm going to create that. Okay, and then once that's in there, okay, I'm going to <clears throat> close down my uh, tag system. I was basically going to go back to the start and reconnect that because what I'd like to do is go back to contact. I'd like to fill this in again just to test it. Okay, and then over here, we'll see. Okay, yeah, that's processing there. So we should see, if we go back over to our debug, we now should start to see more of those. There we go, right. So now, that's just loaded, and you can see, there we go, our custom event, thank you page view, has just popped in as its own event. So now we have our own custom event for a thank you page view, right? Now the next step is to mark that as a conversion or create that as a conversion if it is a valuable action for you, okay? So if the, this is a valuable action for you um, and it you know warrants being created as a, as a conversion, then you need to mark it as a conversion. Now, when you have data in your account, so I'm just gonna flip over to the events tab again, just quickly. Um, I'm gonna to go to conversions. Now, when you come to your conversions page, usually you'll have a lot of events here when you've got data that's populated because this is a new Google Analytics account that we don't have much data populated here, so I can't show you. Um, but then you get the option to actually just flick the little selector here to mark it as a conversion. So if Google's seeing that there's enough volume of a particular event, it will give you the option that you can mark that as a conversion. So you might see a long list here um, of possible events that you can add as conversions. But what about if your um, conversion event doesn't appear in this list, or um, in this case, where you're like, well, I just wanna mark it as a conversion, right? Click new conversion event. And we just need to make sure that we match up this name Okay, so we're just going to copy that over and we're just going to tell the system that that event name needs to be marked as a conversion. So if I save that, right, it knows now when it sees that, it'll know that that's meant to be a conversion. So to test that, let's just close down that window again. Go back over to the uh, Google Tag Assistant. Just reconnect that domain. Okay, and we're going to just do one more uh, contact form complete completion to test that. Submit. Okay, and then over on our debug window, it should start to show us some new data. 
we hope. Here we go. There we go. Right, so now we've marked it as conversion. Google is also, Google, GA4, Google Analytics 4 is also going to start showing us that, that, that as a conversion in our debug window, right? So it's now showing that, well, actually, ah, look, you know, we can recognize that this is now a conversion. So now that is logged as a conversion for you. So it's really, really simple to just set up tracking thank you pages in GA4 without using GTM um, and just by obviously using, you know, the, the page location um, variable. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, hopefully that was helpful, um, but please do uh, let me know if um, in the comments if you know you need extra help with that or if you know if there's anything that I didn't didn't cover uh, but hopefully um, that's uh, that'll get you started with you know just just getting some uh, initial tracking in place for your GA4 um, so yeah thanks for watching uh, remember obviously to, to subscribe for more videos and uh, yeah hopefully see you soon with some more uh, GA4 help and uh, as well as general digital marketing help thank you